Hey guys, Miss Drake here with a few video directions for you for the week. And this is just for our A day classes. So if you're in third period or fourth period A day, this will work. I'm going to use third period A day's class just because I don't have to toggle back and forth. But fourth period A day, the only thing that's different is the number four will be right here. So I have video directions. That's where you're going to find me here. If you haven't already, you click on that and you have the video. And then you have the schedule for the week as well. And so here for A-Day, we will have no Teams meeting today at all. You're welcome to email me if you have questions. We can set up a Teams meeting, but we don't have one for our class today. But you are going to complete the assignments listed for Monday, and I'll show you those. Tomorrow is a teacher work day, so there's no school assignments or meetings for students. Wednesday is a B-Day, but because we're given the pre-ACT, um, on that day, only 10th graders will be in the building taking the pre-ACT, so check with your teachers for your B-Day classes for directions for your classes. And Thursday is a regular school day, so if you are in B-Day group 2, you will be at school, like normal, whatever normal is. And if you're in group 1, then you'll be virtual. Of course, if you're all virtual, you'll be at home too. Um, and then Friday is an A-Day, so we have an assignment for Friday. I'll show you that in just a moment. So looking at our home page, to scroll down, you'll find our agenda. So again, for Monday, November the 2nd, it's an A-Day. We will not meet today. You're going to complete the assignments and let me know if you have questions. The first thing I want you to ask yourself is, did you complete the Declaration of Independence Comprehension questions and State Constitution questions? If not, then you need to do that today. And I'll make those a link so you can click on those and you can see if you did those. Then um, if you have, and most people have, there's just a few people that still have not, but if you have, then go on to number two. On Friday of last week, I posted this discussion question, so you may or may not have done that for the Friday um, assignment, but Friday of last week was a B day, so I went ahead and put it out there. But if you haven't made your discussion post, you're going to click on this discussion post, and then you're going to respond to the question, which is asking you about the balance of power basically, between state and federal governments. Should state governments have the power to create laws that's good for their own citizens in that state, even if it's in conflict with the federal law? And give me a good explanation. Remember, this is where you provide a claim and a reason for your argument, and that's a very important skill to learn. So once you do that, which shouldn't take you very long, then you've got the Articles of Confederation assignment. And so you'll see here on what to turn in, the things that you'll need to turn in for Monday. So you click on the Articles of Confederation assignment, and it's going to take you to the assignment. And it's a Google document where you're going to use the Google document to answer the questions at the bottom of the document. There are 10 questions, and again, you should be able to Use the information in the document here to answer those questions. Be sure when you submit it that when you click on the share button that you look at this right here. This is the access area and you click on that and it has to say anyone with the link. Don't make it restricted or Cabarrus County Schools. Anyone with the link and then just click done. And that way you can go on to submit your assignment. Then, if we'll go back, we'll also take a look at Tuesday's work, which is nothing. Just watch the election. So we're going to be out of school for that day on Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday are B days, so don't worry about those for us um, in A day. However, Friday is an A day, and again, I'm going to put this back up here from 1 to 1.30 since we didn't have scheduled meetings today, but if you want to join um, our Friday meeting. I'm going to just at one o'clock, I'll be there. You drop in whenever you'd like. It's not a requirement though. Just be aware of that. Not a requirement, just a drop in kind of thing. So the Friday assignment is the drag and drop activities. Just to review some of the things we've been talking about for the past two weeks. When you click on that document, you'll have the directions on the first introductory slide page, and then you have three other slides. You have one slide that talks about the Declaration of Independence or the Articles of Confederation. All you have to do is move the colored boxes to the correct location. That one's correct, by the way. That says, well, I'm moving it around all funny. 
but that's where it should be. Written by Thomas Jefferson. It does go there, by the way, just saying. I don't know why it's clear on mine, but not on yours. So probably because I'm running two different things at the same time. Then we have comparing state constitutions to the Articles of Confederation. So you put what you think is state constitutions here and articles here. And the last one is chronology. So put these in the correct chronological order, starting with the earliest, which happens to be the Second Continental Congress. Again, I don't know why that's like that. It's kind of weird that it's doing that on mine, but not on yours. So you put the chronology in order. Make sure, again, when you click the share button, make sure it's anyone on the internet can view this link. And then you're going to submit your assignment. So going back to our home page, that is it for this week. And so you can look on the Friday review this week's assignments to turn in. Most of you have done the Declaration of Independence and State Constitutions, these two. So awesome job. Make sure you get that discussion post and Articles of Confederation done on Monday, these two. And then this is your Friday assignment. But be sure on Friday you log into Canvas as well. That just helps keep track um, of your um, attendance, even if you finish the drag and drop earlier. And remember, uh, the drop-in meeting on Friday, I'd be happy to talk to you then. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Send me an email, a remind, or a message on Canvas. I'll look forward to seeing those and look forward to seeing you guys next week.